Recording. Okay. okay, so it should be recording now. Let me change this though. Put it right there. A little smaller. And then properties. And just zoom in a little bit. There you go. All right. So we're going to start in three, two, one. What is up, guys? My name is Smash Spark Steel, and welcome to another episode of Sakura Space. Last episode, we had an interesting CG of. What was her name again? Nami? Is it Nami? I forgot. Damn it, I haven't played this game for a while. Uh, Nami. Uh, and uh, she was actually doing training inside of a uh, battle simulating room. She looked fucking badass, but I, like I said, the game was trying way too hard to fucking show tits, which I don't mind because, you know. I like to see sits. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Nami, I have a. F let's go ahead and continue on with the story, shall we? Yeah. Okay. I have a few ideas for a countering now. There's more other than a whip. I think so too. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, so I'm, I'm Shika, right? I think so. I forget. I see. I haven't. I haven't played this game for a while, so I forgot who am I. Who I am. Um, don't get overconfident. There's a lot more to Aka than a whip. Considering that she drew through an entire army of drones at me out of nowhere, we have we have to be careful to, that she doesn't try to attack us in other ways. Waging a war with nothing about proxy drones isn't something she is capable of. I think so too. Although she is overconfident and would really show her face whenever she wants, does not mean she lacks the resources to be able to defeat us without revealing. Revealing herself. I think I'm saying in a different voice, but I just I think I just realized she looks she sounds way better than this voice. Perhaps it would be better to focus on my training against the Sentinels. There is nothing wrong with training to be to prepare yourself for both possibilities, however. Yeah. Definitely, Captain. I will make sure that I am prepared to fight against anything that she throws at us. That's how it is. True team player. I have no doubt that you will, Nami. Do we have any more information since we left that meeting? Deduc deducing what we have observed, she is obviously someone with training. You cannot simply commit crimes in broad daylight and evade the police like that. It could be chalked up to luck, but she has managed to do it consistently. So we can presume that she is armed, dangerous, and very competent. Yeah, dude, fuck, dude. I wonder how long it took her to train to be all like an evil a villain. That is a good presumption. Is there anything else notable that you have to ma you have managed to, do to deduce? Worked out. We worked. We have worked out a rough estimate of where she might appear next. Once more information is available, we will proceed where to where she's expected to appear next. The first part of our bounty hunt will be an investigation. We need to work out where she is before we can attempt to take her down. Not only that, but we do not know anything about her connections. She could have an entire cartel of criminals at her back and call. Are you having second thoughts about this bounty, Mommy? Not second thoughts. We'll probably never see another job like this again. But it's a good idea to plan ahead for potential danger. I agree. Anyway, I would like to get some more practice in. I will speak to you later, Captain. Until then, Nami. Yeah, fuck yeah! So let's see. My mind has been in a rush since this whole thing began. I need a moment to clear my head. Another cup of cheap coffee and plenty of time to myself. I haven't started anything yet. Nothing has been setting in stone. This is very deliberate of my part. Since I have rushed to get ready for this job, I'm going to end up doing a poor job of it if I keep this up. I have made plenty of observations and presumptions. But what I really need to do is now is clear my head. At least I think that will be the best course of action. Yeah. Be rested and then you're gonna be know. Right, I need to calm down. Unless I look at this where with a clear head, all I'm gonna end up with is a jumbled mess. I just need, I need just to sit back, and carefully analyze the whole situation. Fortunately, I have turned off the speakers in my room. While our AI is, behind, is very helpful, I do not think I need to speak with it right now. What what would be the best for me to, right now to be by myself? I don't need any distracting me from my own thoughts. Let me think, let me think. 
She has been sighted on multiple planets, but she only ever revealed herself once. What, and whatever she wants, chaos followed in her wake. Judging by that information, she must work sy systematically. That little bit of information will be handy if it is true. With a bit of work, I have already noticed a pattern in between her crimes. There is a delay as she travels in between these planets. However, the crimes themselves, they do, there does not appear to be any real link be between any of them. Sometimes it's significant property damage. Sometimes it's merely stealing something petty. She did take some artwork from a local art gallery once, but it was a piece, of, but it was a piece not done by anyone special. Who is she? And why is she doing this? That is what I cannot work out. And then if a crime seemed to be worthy of it, of her intellectual attention. Now that I think about it, everything about this bounty seems bizarre. Just who is she? I pull out a digital pen and a pad. One of the ways so that I work something is with a pen. It's impossible to buy paper these days, so I just make deal with a digital pad. Sitting back down at my desk, I begin to draw out my thoughts. So her first notable crime started in a planet in this city. But none of these business or places she was sighted. Ooh, oh, sorry. Sorry, had any connection to each other as far as I can, can tell. Wait. Where were these places located? Was there something close to them that could not that could connect to them? Now that I think about it, the locations of crimes were always close to police stations. What? Why would you rob something that's near police stations? Could it be that she's into the thrill of being chased? What the fuck? That perhaps her motive is mocking law enforcement. Or it's just for the thrill. Exactly! But these details will have become really apparent to anyone else investigating the case. So why hasn't anyone stopped her yet? All the details swirl around in my head. I have to stop for a moment and calm myself down. There are patterns. But surely someone else would have observed these. So what does it all this mean? Hmm. Wait. What? Someone's in the room? Whoever they are, they blocked my vision. Did someone slip into the whip ship when I was, wasn't looking? Who's there? I immediately reached for my pistol. Before I can do so, they pulled my, their hands away. With lighting re reflexes, I turn around with who, to see who's, who's there. And it's Kotori. Guess who? She's pulling a slightly grin at me. Nice to see you too, Kotori. I was so deep in my thoughts that I did not hear her in enter the into the room. I had to pull, I had, I pulled my hand away from my pistol. You should be having to look in your face. It's so fun to see our cool captain lose her composure. I move my fucking mouse. Kotori is always doing things like this. But it was kind of nice just to sit there and watch you think to yourself. Wait, you hear we're just watching me? What the fuck? She's fully dressed in her battle gear. I see that you're wearing your equipment. Well, it's been a while since we had a big job. So I've been doing some training. Her daggers are glowing. Obviously a sign that she's been used recently. I've gotten a bit rusty, but that's nothing a little bit of effort will fix. When she gets the motivation to do something, Kotori does it like no one else could. could. Whatever it is, whether that is a good thing or a bad thing, only time can tell. I was just wondering that our illustrious captain was thinking about. Just working out the details on our bounty. I bet everything on this case. Not only that, but it's going to be a difficult case to crack. Yep. Yawning. It's back, guys. Fuck. With space travel as, as factors of these days, she could be anywhere in the sector. Only, you only have very vague information to work with, too. Hey, one second. Let me move this down here. There you go. So you guys can see some titties. <laughs> oh shit. So what do I do? I know you can work it out. After all, you just need to wait. She would slip out somewhere and you will get more and more info as your time comes. It goes on, but whatever. I do not know if we'll be, be so lucky. The trail is a bit stale, but even we arrive there soon. You're overthinking it. Just relax for a moment. I can see you're working yourself into a frenzy. She does have a point. Even when, when I'm sitting up here, 
Thoughts are far too erratic. I need to calm myself down. I think I should take your advice. Happy to help out, Captain. I expect not. I expect another kiss as a thank you since you're such a generous, kind-hearted captain. Don't push your luck. Yes, yes, professionalism. She winks at me. You will give it w up one day. I'll charm you out of it. She disappears out silently as she arrived. What really gives me clarity? I look towards my storage. Perhaps... Perhaps the time that I took a breather. Oh, she looks cute. I look cute. <laughs> I have been feeling rather tense as of late. I have some tools in order to, that could help with that. Reaching it, I find that those are exactly where I left them. AI turning off civilians in this room. I'm glad that AI is smart enough to pick up where I'm going to want my alone time. Remo removing my suit, I pick up the bindings. I slowly wrap them around my body. <laughs> Okay, that's um, that's pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie. Wow. <laughs> well, that's a way. I think she's into that bondage shit. Holy shit. Wow. She's got a nice pair though. I can, I can say that she's got a nice pair. Relaxation, guys, is masturbation. <laughs> masturbation is relaxation. <laughs> Oh god, I'm so fucking stupid. The fucking dildo. They always had to be fucking have bumps on it. What the fuck? I settled myself onto my bed. Poising my tool just in front of my quivering lower half. The bindings... Oh my god, the bindings tightly cling to me. Supple le leather slides over my skin, creating friction and heat. The sensation of the cool metal studs throughout the straps make a small gas escape from my lips. Slowly, I push it in. I feel it slowly parting my lips, reaching deeper and deeper. The bumps of its rough surface hits all of my sensitive spots as it continues to slide inward. I have to take it slowly at first. Gradually. Slowly. More and more of its shaft enters me, until the entirety of its grit is pushed in. It's then that I begin to gently pull it out, back out, then back in. I strain it at my bindings, feeling as they tighten, tighten around my chest and my thighs. My body begins to feel warmer and warmer. Even the slightest bumps and movements cause me to shudder from the sensation. My lower lips are beginning to drip with the detailed sign of my arousal. The shaft surface as it slides out makes a slight slick noise, glistening with juices. Thoroughly lubricated, it reaches me in deep into me with ease. I begin to enter I begin to enter rhythm, sliding it in and out. Enjoying every moment of its bumps touching the walls of my most precious place. Waves of pleasure radiate from each moment, gradually find building up. I don't know how I keep feeling this, but it's it's pretty kinda of feels kinda of dirty for me. I'm a pervert I'm a pervert, I will say that. But this is kind of a uh, kind of weird to read the fucking erotic stories. This is my fr I'm not sure this is my first one reading these kind of stories, but all right. Soon, I cannot stop myself from moaning. My body is becoming more and more sensitive with each stroke. I can feel a climax come inside, burn, um, building inside me, burning, pulsing desire, filling me with within. I begin to spread up the dildo's movements. Making loud, lewd noises echo through the room as it slides in and out. Eagerly, greedily, I keep going, forgetting about everything else for a moment, and simply revealing in, in this pleasure as I, I gasp as I let go. <laughs> she actually comes, holy fuck. Thick, sticky fluids erupt from me, my hips burning as each pulse of pleasure. The entirety of its dildo's length is completely coated. I wait for a moment, catching my breath. Despite myself, I do not remove the dildo yet. Hungry for more pleasure, I begin to push it back in. Oh, damn! Already sensitive, it makes me moan even louder. I continue to push it deeper, heightening the sensations radiating from my lower half. 
white hot bliss fills me and slowly a sense of peace and satisfaction begins to settle over me holy shit that was a fucking <laughs> wow that's the first time I ever get to see a fucking masturbation I mean I've seen the other sucker CGs for sucker dungeon and that shit was fucking hot but damn this one was fucking descriptive holy fuck I love this shit dude fuck I gotta stop fucking going like this, smiling like, ooh, 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 ooh. Makes me look more of a fucking perverted motherfucker. <laughs> I gotta cool myself down, dude. Fuck. Woo! That was fucking hot. It always helps to have some time to yourself. I feel thoroughly refreshed. But it's best not to dwell on that for the whole day. The ship we live in is quite a sizable one. You guys got stores in your ship? That's fucking sick. Who else is there? Since the operations of this mercenary company span across many parts of the galaxy, there are many different teams who live aboard. Every team has their own living quarters, and there are even and there are even aboard shops. They can even have AIs which act as administrators administrators in their quarters if they so wish. Our AI signals uh, our AI signals us as we step out. Keep in mind that you currently do not have any income. So do be careful with your budget. Thank you again. Come on everyone. Oh my god, fucking Nami. Fuck, dude, she's fucking adorable. Hey, let me move that back down there. Alright. Do we have to? Well, if you do not want to go, then you can just stay in our quarters. No, no, no. I want to go. When she isn't training on a, or, a or on a mission, Nami is very awkward around her people. Other people. She's trying to be better at it, however. Kotori, on the other hand, has to be restrained whenever she's around other people. She acts too much like an overly friend, a laborator, when she is in public. I wonder how everyone is doing today. Remember, you are representing the pride of our company when you're out in public, Kotori. You must act as a dignified professional manner. She's not listening, however. Come on, let's see what new gadgets they have here. She's practically pulling me by my arm, with Nami trailing close behind. Perhaps it, will, it would have been a better idea to stay in our quarters after all. No, it won't. And I think that's where I'm going to end the episode of Sakura Space. Dude, that was that was fucking interesting. A fucking chic I do. Holy fuck! I mean, damn. If if there's gonna be more CDs like that, I'm fucking all down for this fucking soccer game. Holy fuck! I mean, I'm always down with any other soccer game because you know, plot. These this is some great plot, guys. <laughs> all right. Hey, that's one thing I was gonna end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sakura Space. See you guys later. Goodbye.